What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back, back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So on Friday I created a video uh, showing you how to create a uh, kind of curving stair rail with Flowify, um, a spiral stair rail. And uh, I promised in that video I was going to talk a little bit more today about creating a spiral staircase. So in this case, this is more focused on creating a spiral staircase with just the native tools in SketchUp. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So um, what we're going to do for this is we're going to start off and we're going to use the circle tool in order to create the radius of our shape. So we're going to use the circle tool and we're going to create a circle that's going to give us our um, it's going to give us our risers. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to adjust the number of sides in your circle. Uh, if you remember, SketchUp allows you to set the number of sides while the circle tool is active. So I could come in here and I could type in 8 and hit the enter key and draw an 8-sided shape. Or I could draw a 24-sided shape for a smoother circle. Um, in this case, we're going to draw a 12-sided shape. Um, and you can kind of adjust this for your own staircase um, if you decide to do this a different way. Uh, just remember that more segments is going to equal uh, more risers. So anyway, so go ahead and activate the circle tool by tapping that C key and then uh, go in here and uh, type in 12 and hit the enter key and then you're going to draw a circle around your center point here. And um, now we're going to come in here and we're going to set our radius and it's important to remember that the radius that we set is going to be is going to be the width of our stair or the width of our riser. So whatever we set this at, that's going to be um, how wide our riser is um, for each step. So in this case, I'm gonna come in here and probably do two foot six inches and we'll see how that looks. So that's just gonna set how, how wide each one of these is. So just come in here and you're just gonna rough out the shape of one of these by drawing lines to these segments. So you're gonna draw a line from the center here to the edge and you can see that gives this its own face. Then once you've done that, you can come in here and you can erase out the rest of your circle. And so the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to select this object right here. You're gonna right click on it and you're gonna click make component. And you can call this stair riser in here and make sure the little checkbox that says replace selection with component is checked. So once you've done that, you've got kind of your basic riser shape. We're going to use the rotate tool to create copies in a circle so that we have 12 of these. So to do that, you can activate the rotate tool by tapping the Q key. And then I just move your mouse over this center point right here and then click on this corner. And you see how when I move my mouse around, it's not actually copying this. In order to activate copy mode, you're just going to tap the control key on your keyboard just like this. You see how that'll create a copy? And then come over here and click on this corner and type in times 11 and hit the enter key. And you can see what that does is that that creates 11 copies of this plus your original giving you 12 total. Um, so now we can come in here and we can work on these. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take these, we're going to extrude them to the thickness of our step. Um, and don't extrude it to the thickness that you want the actual riser piece to be. Extrude it to how high up you want to step on each step. So in this case, I'm going to say you're going to step up 8 inches um, between each step. So from here to here is going to be 8 inches. So every time you step up, you're going to step up 8 inches. So, and then once you do that, you're going to select this whole thing and you're going to make 11 copies of it going up. So you're just going to make a copy straight up and then you're going to type in times 11. And what that's going to do is give you this big kind of cylinder looking shape. And then uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to come through here and we're just going to use a shift click and just come in here and select risers going around the circle of this kind of cylinder shape right here. So in this case, this should be straight up and down from the last piece right here. And then you're just going to put all of those in a group. Um, and since you have your group selected, you can just hold shift click and drag a box around this. And what that'll do is that'll select everything except your group because your group is already selected. Um, so then you can come in here and you can hit delete and that's going to give you your steps in here so you can see you've got this spiraling step shape going up right here and then the other thing you can do is you can come in each one of these components and um, probably come out about let's say six inches there you go and just draw a line across right there and then use the push pull tool to cut that piece 
so this isn't actually a triangle all the all the way in you've got a little bit of a cut right here and that's going to make your risers look a little bit better uh, moving forward so now what we're going to do is you know what let's go ahead and finish our risers off so now that you've got your your distance up between each step set you can come in here and you can use the push pull tool to adjust the thickness of these because remember your stair risers themselves aren't actually going to be eight inches thick your stair risers themselves will probably be one or two inches thick um, and then you'll just have a gap between them so just use the push pull tool and i set these at eight inches so probably just extrude this up about six inches just like this and that'll leave a six inch gap between each one of these so you can see how you've got this kind of spiraling shape moving up and now it looks a lot better because you've got kind of your gap in here these look like actual stair risers so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start worrying about our railing so in order to uh, work on our railing what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and you're going to get back inside your components just like this and you're going to draw a line up on each one of these just straight up this is going to be kind of a guide um, and it's going to be as tall as you want your rail to be so in this case I'm going to say three foot six inches just like this you can see since I put one of these lines in one of these components it adds it to all of them because that's the way components work um, so each one of these is three foot six inches high um, so that'll give you kind of a guide for where your rail is going to be and then the other thing you're, you're going to have to do is you're going to have to come in here and you're going to have to draw a three foot line on the last one of these down here just so that you can kind of complete the circle just like this so going all the way up and depending on how you your stair looks you could also do this on the inside right here um, I'm just gonna assume there's gonna be kind of a center post in here and so I'm not gonna need um, a rail on the inside but you could definitely do that as well so the next thing we're going to do and make sure you're outside your component now you can be inside this group just don't be in the component is you're just going to come here and you're just going to draw lines up along this spiral right here so and just draw that all the way up just like this so that'll give us kind of a path for our stair rail and then the next thing you can do is depending on what you want your shape to be you can either depending on what you want your rail shape to be you can either come in here and use the follow me tool to extrude a shape um, all the way along this so you could draw any kind of shape that you really want and then select all these segments and uh, use follow me in here in order to um, extrude your rail shape along here or you could come in here and by the way had I not put these inside this group this would have been a little easier I'm gonna go ahead and cut these I'm gonna go outside my group and then I'm gonna right click or no, I'm going to go up to edit and I'm going to click paste in place. So, and all that does is that cut that out and put it outside this group. Now I could come in here and I could just select it by dragging a box across it really fast and then just unselecting the rest of this. But anyway, you could either use follow me and extrude a shape along here, or you could go to extensions and you could use an extension like pipe along path, which you should be able to download from the 3D warehouse. Um, and if you uh, select pipe along path, you can come in here and you can dictate um, the outside diameter of your pipe. You can make sure that it'll be centered around this. You could you can do a lot of different things with this so I would recommend doing it this way um, it definitely will work the other way but for me this is just kind of more the way that I want this to work so anyway I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna create a two inch pipe along this path just like that so that'll give me my railing so anyway that that goes ahead and it creates a pipe along this path that'll work as our handrail so and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna model the actual pickets themselves so in order to do that you're going to come in here and you're going to I mean, depending on how you want this to look this is squares you do this a little different I'm assuming these pickets are going to be kind of circular but you're just going to come in here and you're just going to draw a little circle whose diameter is going to be the width of your picket so in this case I probably only want this to be a one inch picket so I'm going to draw my radius to be 0.5 and then I'm just going to well first of all I'm going to extrude it down down to the bottom here and then I'm going to extrude it up into my handrail just like this and I just want to extrude it far enough up that it kind of merges with the line right here and based on the nature of the way you kind of have to draw this on the corner um, as long as you're drawing this in the component you're gonna to have to you're gonna to have to extrude this other piece up as well 
but you can go ahead and do that. And then you can use the erase tool to come in here and hide these lines on the inside. So these are nice, um, smooth, circular handrail pieces. You will have to come in on this very last one, just, just because of the nature of the way that you drew things, you will have to draw an extra picket in here. So just come in here and draw one more picket outside of your whole group in here, just so that everything's continuous. So, and you, you may have to adjust this one a little bit in order to make it work, um, either by coming in here and kind of extending your pipe a little bit so that it goes past this rail, or you just have to do something to make this kind of merge properly. Um, but anyway, come in here and looks like that shape worked okay on the inside. So you're pretty much done with that. So the, the only thing you need to do now is you just need to come in here and you need to draw your center post. Um, and to draw your center post, uh, you can draw a 24 sided circle. Just remember that the more sides are in your circle, the more faces you're going to have, but the smoother your shape is going to be. So in this case, I'm just going to draw this as kind of a thicker piece right here. And if you don't like how thick this is, what you can do is you can go ahead and draw this as, let's say a four inch shape just like this and then just come in here and just kind of adjust I don't think push pulls well, you can do it with push pull if you don't mind having a little turn right here or you can also just extend this shape out um, perpendicular until it meets this face so you should just be drawing a two inch line here a two inch line here you can close this in and then push pull this so that these are smooth again, just like that. So anyway, that gives you a spiral staircase shape in here. The other thing you can do if you want to is you can copy this up like straight up and down. So you're gonna move it to there. So you can copy that straight up and down just like this and then just uh, move this up the extra six inches right there so then you have a rail that just kind of continues up and you can go as high up with this as you want just by copying that group all the way up so if you need to make a taller staircase um, since we drew this where this ends straight up and down from this piece right here then you can continue this up as high as you want it to go if you like this video remember to click that like button down below if you're new around here remember to click that subscribe button for new sketchup content every week if you really like what i'm doing here please consider supporting me on patreon um, every little bit helps even if it's only a dollar a month to help me just keep bringing you great sketchup content in any case i really appreciate you taking the time to watch this and i will catch you in the next video thanks guys